Olga Box Clips. All right, uh, so let's talk about that play right there. This is Lucky Sevens. This is a time. Look, make a clip right here. So here's where a video editor could come in. So I'm about to talk to you about why the Lucky Sevens is such a powerful play. So all it is, number one, look at the time of day. We are looking at, we know we have the 350 algo that kicks in. That's not us. We're talking about the 350 algo. It's a whole thing. We'll have to do a whole video around that. But at 353, okay, this is the Lucky Sevens. Okay, let's talk about it. What is it and how does it work and why were we able to capitalize on that today? So lucky sevens, when I am in a Enigma based strategy entry, one of my favorite things to do, again, there are other plays. If you guys watch my other videos on lucky sevens, you're looking for a trap. Well, was there a trap? Yes, previous trap right there. We start to move up and basically we want to ride the rest of that trap the rest of the day. So still lucky sevens classic is still in play there. If you had any other entry point on any other time frame, any other setup would have worked. Okay, but let's talk about how we do it with Enigma. On a lucky sevens play, I am going to look for a double enigma. What is a double enigma? Right here. If you don't know that that is a double enigma, take a screenshot. This is your opportunity right now today. That is a double enigma. Got two enigmas close together. Ah, we just called a double enigma. Pretty simple. Now, look at the speed. Speed was also good. That was 74 miles per hour, folks, or what we call BPM. It's a great opportunity to go ahead, take a risk. Now, Worst case scenario, yes, this could have stopped out. Yes, you could stop out right here. Here's the stop out for one of these plays, okay? Now, we happen to have gotten, you know, even better here. Why I was excited about this. I'm like, okay, cool, even better. I've got another one telling me. Great setup here. This is like a triple. So, hey, hallelujah, I'm going in a little bit bigger here today. I was excited about this play. Now, this is it. These are just kind of bonus. This just adds to it, keeps on going, fantastic. But this is what matters, lucky sevens. The idea is I wanna hold for seven minutes. That is why I call it the lucky sevens, because you are lucky because you've got seven minutes that are probably gonna go in your direction. So, did we have to hold out for seven minutes? Yes. Was it, um, you know, absolutely the easiest thing ever? No. Um, were there moments of breathlessness? Yes. Right around here, we had it, you know, strike down. But this is what oftentimes gets people off sides. This is what ends up driving big moves to begin with. And sure enough, play back the tape on this. Um, now you're wondering why this big X is on the chart here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off right now, but that's because the speed is bad. Yes, uh, right now, speed is 19. Is that under 25? Yes, a little bit too slow. You don't wanna be traveling. Nobody wants to be driving on the roads at 19 miles per hour when you know <laughs> a kid can run faster than that. We'll, we'll pass, right? So bad speed. Now, this, all we're gonna do is hold till the end of the day. This is a time-based strategy from 3.53. That's gonna give you seven minutes till four o'clock. This is Eastern Standard Time. Make sure that you are keeping all of your clocks in this area set to Eastern Standard Time. This is going to help you out with understanding and knowing the New York session. This is where we take advantage of that. Oftentimes, this is what I call pin them to the highs. Have you guys heard me say this statement before in some old videos? You'll hear this. Pin them to the highs. Now, this can go the other way as well. Okay, could, this could be flipped in a bear market, all right? Pin them to the lows, but they're getting pinned in. Anybody who is trying to short right here, any of the spots where people finally took the final spot here where they went short, and they did. You can see it down here in the delta. These are people getting off sides right here. You got double deltas. I want to take that next play. There was a red enigma, but that is something we are not interested in. After I've already got my double enigma, I am going to hold this through till 4 p.m. Where is the 4 p.m. marker? Right here. That is 1600 right there. So 4 p.m. kicks in and we're going to look at the time. So there is where I'm going to hold through right there. Now, I pulled a few seconds early somewhere in here. We exited the rest of the position, but this is where you're going to get that maximized spot now oftentimes it will readdress look it went even higher yes e any type of move down tends to be a fake trap move look at that nasty trap people might have gone oh cool i can get short right there nope yoink big yoink and you end up pinning them to the highs this is what i mean like you i picture someone getting literally squished into like pretend that there is a you know a glass ceiling right up here and they're like oh, oh, i squished in my face in my face i'm getting pinned into the highs right there this is what happens nobody's getting out no escape the no escape causes this to occur this is something that you've seen many many times which is why 
I have capitalized on it as a pro trader who has been around the markets for a very long time. This is one of those things I like to capitalize on. Now, this is this every day? No, we need to make sure we've still got high time frame stuff. Don't be like, oh, I do this every single day. No, this is not an everyday occurrence type of scenario. You'll have to be able to read the markets a little bit. And yes, today I'm out here live, so it was easier because I'm doing the read on the market. I've already got the majority of the move to the long side for us. It's going to help us out as well. And some nice fake outs, right? Some nice Again, you can see the traps in here. We knew we had a zone. We had a monster zone there, particularly with that blue level line that I had told you earlier. I said, oof, if we touch into that line again, that sucker has told us everything. That was, you know, we're not we're not returning to that after we start to move up and out of that area. And that was the big move launching point, And they're not coming back to it now okay so i know there was a lot to read in that hopefully you got something from that explain the lucky sevens let me open up for any questions here at the end anybody have any other questions uh curtis said earmark thank you sir uh be close on that drop thanks for the training yeah and again uh, this is this is that whole risk reward scenario now if i had not been up on the day let me tell you something another thing that helped me was like mentally i was already like ah my worst case scenario i'm up 1500 on the day uh i'm okay with that right yes that helps i always tell people like all the time like you have to take into account where you are in a play where you're at financially where you're at in your p l on the day you are going to be riskier when you've got food on the table right like if you don't have food on the table you may not be able to be that risky like you might yes as this starts to drop out you might get scared as you pop in around here or as you get this lucky sevens play okay you held it out to you know, four minutes till the close, you held it out right here. Hey, pat yourself on the back. All right. Big check plus there. You held it out for a good run. Fantastic. That's still, let's see how many ticks that is. If we use our measuring tool, if we're getting in after the double enigma right there, and these are even better when they're like this, when they are, when one's lower than the other, that means you get the, here's the warning shot says, Hey, get ready. Right. I might say, get ready, get ready on the first one. And this one comes down even a little bit deeper for you. Wow. I mean, this is awesome. This is the absolute ideal when you get a scenario where one is lower than the other. Now, if you get one that's right here and one that's right here, you know, the pivot might be here. And when you get this sucker to go, eh, you could have gotten entered right here, but you can't. You're ultimately end up getting in up here. So you, you know, you're missing some ticks versus something like this, where you literally get deeper, right? Isn't it even better when you get deeper on a play? Yes, that is awesome. This is why I was very excited about that play setup that showed up. But even if you had bailed out early, folks, 46 ticks, who's going to complain about grabbing 46 ticks? It's awesome, right? So not a bad play either way that you play it. Um, I ended up holding that sucker out. Um, you know, we went, I think I exited somewhere around here. So that's around 54-ish, let's just call it 50 ticks ish somewhere around there not too shabby and there is the pnl that showcased that work right up there press the like button share subscribe and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn watch this next video